coming in hot. Here is an example of how you could get in trouble with CO2 at depth. And it's going to have to do with deep air. Here's a true story. I was with, I was teaching a, an advanced nitrox deco procedures course in Florida, happened to be with my brother. And this is how things can happen. I rented a boat, right? What a six pack, I, was, I you know, had a guy to bring just my brother and I out. I forget how much that cost. Maybe it was 150 bucks, maybe 200 bucks. I don't remember. The guy was going to bring us to one location uh, for uh, one dive. And we're going to come back. It was off Fort Lauderdale, some at the intercoastal, and then out. I think it might have been the Bud Light or one one of these wrecks. I forget which one. And so that was expensive, and we paid for our gases, of course, right? It was Phil Express in near Fort Lauderdale, uh, near Boca or Deerfield Beach or something like that. And uh, so we we had two sets of doubles with nitrox. I forget what mix, and then we had deco stages, right? Probably it was fifty percent O two. It was an expensive dive, right? It was expensive. And this is how it all starts. Now, we had our dive planned out. We had, um, we picked out, right? We had that DVD of all the wrecks in Florida and we picked out a dive. We were looking for, I honestly, I don't remember our target max depth. It, it was probably below 50 meters. It was, it was probably in the high 40s, I don't recall. What I do remember is the deck, right? The, the deck, in other words, the bottom was probably about 55 meters there. I do remember that. All right, this, this, is, our, uh, this is our wreck, right? So bottom is 55 meters and the deck uh, of this, this wreck was, I don't know, let's say it was 46 meters, I don't really remember. Um, let's say 45 meters. Here's what can happen. Here's how you can get in trouble quickly. So, uh, the boat, the boat's going to drop you. Now, there's no, there's no mooring line on these wrecks, right? And it's a hot drop. They're dropping you down hot. And what's happening is, so the captain, he, he's got to kind of estimate where to drop you, right? So what he's, what he's going to want to do is, you know, he, he's estimating the speed of the current, and he's going to drop you so you, the current brings you down and you land on the wreck somewhere, right? That's, that's the ideal situation. But what happened in our case, and how you can really get in trouble quickly with a deep dive, especially if it's an expensive one, because you don't want to abort. Here's what happens. Here's what happened to us. So we came down and either, you know, the captain dropped us a bit, you know, he estimated. And what happened was, we're getting blown off this wreck. Right? Now I know what, what the depth is, right? I, I, I'm really, <laughs> I really don't want to go below, below the deck too much, because I... Honestly, I forget what we had set up our maximum depth for, but whatever we had planned for, I knew that I didn't want to go to the bottom. I didn't want, I was not planning to go at 55 meters. There was no deco plan for 55 meters, right? So we, we come down, I see we're getting blown off. We start, we're, we're kicking hard. We're kicking hard. Now we're deep. We're probably about 40 meters by now and we're kicking hard, right? We're not on a helium mix. We're kicking hard. So you've got, you've got the narcosis is kicking in. You're generating CO2 and the back of mind, you're thinking, good grief, you know, this one dive is costing me 400 bucks or something. I don't want to, because the alternative is just, because once you thumb this dive, you're done. That is the end of that dive. There's no redo on this dive. There's no redoing down to 45 meters again, right? Because you're going to probably have to do some, you might have to do some light deco going up, or certainly you're going to have to go up slowly. Your, your gas, right? Your, your gas is gone. Or it's not gone, but it's gone to the point where you don't have enough gas to replan that initial dive, all right? So you're coming down, all that's in your mind, and you're coming down, coming down, we're fighting it, we're fighting it, we're fighting it. I'm like, oh no! I was just about to look at my brother and thumb the dive. I was just about to pull the plug on that dive, and then probably we got about even with the deck, and maybe we're just close enough, there was kind of a little bit of a suction effect happening, right? Probably there was a, a suction zone and we got pulled in. I was like, yes, <laughs> we got to that deck and we slowed down as, all right, let's just get our breath here for a minute. That's how you can get into trouble. So in the back of my mind, I was thinking the wrong way. First of all, you know, sadly I was thinking it, it was probably, I mean, of course my, my brother was, was paying for, I don't know, half of it or more. I, I really don't recall, but you know, it was probably for two people. That was a maybe a $500 excursion, right? Split two ways. So it's still expensive. 
and other dives are even more like these guys, you know, going out with helium dives on these wrecks like Andrea Doria or things like that where, and you have these really bad conditions, you know, they're trying to squeeze out a dive, you know, they're going to lose a thousand, two thousand dollars if they don't get to do that weekend or whatever. So this is how it can happen. So you've got to be ready to thumb that dive and think about, you know, at depth, the work that you're doing and you know live to dive another day you know that that if if i was really being stubborn you know worst case scenario i could have made a really bad decision right you know get way out maybe deeper than i wanted to go and then coming up and my then my whole deco schedule is thrown off this isn't a deco talk but you, you, you get the point so uh, be careful letting the economic value of the dive convince you to get yourself into some trouble all right, be careful out there, stay safe, and see you on the beach.